Welcome to the channel Davo. We are looking at a property again with Kylie in Arpino. You probably saw other videos that we did together. Uh, she showed me around Chivita Vecchia. We saw, we've done a few videos. Uh, if you haven't seen them, check them out after this video. But what is what are we going to be looking okay, at? Okay, so we're down the bottom part of Arpino now. Under the Centro Storico, the historic center, is right above us on that cliff okay. up there. We're down into the valley and you can hear a waterfall in the distance. Beautiful, yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, there's some Roman bridges, some caves and some waterfalls down here. So it's a beautiful area to go walking. I just walked through some uh, herbs. Yeah, so this is Mentuccia. It's what? Mentuccia. Mentuccia. It's a wild mint. So this is a house, I mean, I call it the station house because we're kind of close to the station of Arpino. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of trains run there, but you know, there's one or two a day. This is an old stone dwelling. Under that render on the front, it's stone. So that could be removed and you could make it into a very attractive, you know, Italian farmhouse style, if you like. The house is really quirky. It's got a lot of land with it, you know, it needs work, but the price is kind of reflective of that, mm. I guess. The roof, so, okay. What, the front part of the roof, there's four rooms that have been like looked after and um, restored, I guess, and the front part of the roof is good. There's one section of the roof that needs to be redone, and that's the middle section. So. Okay. Let's go inside and have a look and I'll show you how quirky it is. Ah, this is a nice little spot. This is um, the original bread oven. Ah, so. cool. I wonder if I, when the last time someone cooked uh, Yeah, a while. Yeah, exactly. It's been a while. Oh, we're going down here first? Yeah. Good. I'll open up the I was house. looking up the stairs. Like, ready? It was built for two families. So there were um, cousins, I guess. And so each part of the house is a carbon copy of the other part, but they, they're not joined at mm. all. And in fact, it's kind of like a weird motel, like the setup <laughs> where the rooms aren't joined. So I could see it being like a Super 8 or something like yeah. that, or a Motel 6 or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So let's just find the key. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I think I've got the right key first up. Ta-da! Nice. nice job like winning the lottery when you've got this many keys and you choose the right one straight up yeah. it's kind of like amazing okay it's dark in here but you can see they rewired this section and there's you know there's a cute little fireplace so really you're buying the whole house here so the thing to do the work to do here is to open doorways that just involves putting in beam this side and a beam on the other side and just opening up a nice big doorway because then you've got the two rooms joining somewhere. Well, I'm going to explore for a second. We've got the fireplace. We have a propane tank here for the gas stove. Sometimes these areas don't have all of the, the city services. Is, it, is this on the water system of the city? It's got mm -hmm. its own water system. Okay. Um, it can be attached to the town water as well. It has electric um, supplied by town. And for gas, you need to have a bombola. Yeah. You know, the big yeah, gas so tank. Outside yeah. too. Yeah. Which I don't know what that's for. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I Can love I see those keys. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> and the house looks a lot new. It's really old. That's awesome. Anybody know how to make these? Doesn't seem all that hard. We're looking at this times four, basically. The room itself feels maybe 16 square meters. No, I'd say a little bit more, 20. 80 square meter property. There's a different key for every room in this house. Wow. Seriously. So it was like a mini hotel. That was, yeah, but it wasn't. I mean, this is the way their family so, live. So one, two, three, four bedrooms. And then they've built this whole section right at the back. And this section at the back, yeah, walk down and have a look. They've never finished it. Ah, okay. But it's all legal? I mean, is yeah, it all within it is. the catastrophe? Yes. Yeah, this is. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> it's got the panel falling out. Think it works? <laughs> they really were making this weird 
Hotel. There's a trail that goes off that way. Got the back side of the property, and this is the other side. I could live here. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> There's a trail off that direction. As far as I saw, there were no other properties nearby. Um, very, very private. I can hear the waterfall, very tranquil. Now, whether it's worth it, I don't know the price yet. Arpino is just at the top of the hill there. It was not a difficult drive whatsoever. But there's also this room down here. Oh man, we need to see a floor plan. It's really kind of hard to track everything. There's a little structure over here too. Keep, keep walking into that mint plant. This is a, another side building, perhaps. Uh, maybe it was a bathroom back in the day, I don't know. Let's go see what Kylie's doing. So this is the other half. So you can imagine if you were to open a nice doorway there, yeah. it could become like a a kitchen and dining room. Yeah, yeah? that'd be nice. Uh -huh. So this one looks more recently used. Yeah. This is where they actually lived. Yeah, this has been done up. So these, these two rooms on the bottom and then the two rooms directly above. This part, we're walking back in time. Yeah, <laughs> let's see, I see a phone book here. <laughs> 1992. There you go. <laughs> this is a cellar. Electricity's off for now. I think this could be a great place to put in a staircase that would take you upstairs and maybe a bathroom down here for the lower level. There's so many like antiques. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at this. Thing. Yeah, look at the TV. Wow. Yeah, it's something. It's so fascinating. The stuff that people like leave behind. I love these old demijans. Oh, this is the stuff that they used to make wine with. And look at this. I mean, I love this. Look, there's this old bench that's been made. Look at it. You can see the logs that they just cut down. This looks like my garage. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Sometimes I feel like that. These are those balls for playing, um, you know, the lawn balls. Bocce ball. Yeah, the bocce. You got it. bocce ball, classic bocce balls. And that's an old to cut the grass. Sickle. Oh dear, it's just, <laughs> just crumbled. in my hand. Crumbled. Yeah. Beautiful. So, I don't know, everything in here is, is so... Authentic? Authentic, yeah, <laughs> authentic. I'd say authentic would be a good that's word a, for that's it. That's a word. So, you know, if this were my house, I would remove this metal structure and probably make something that was more attractive and grow vines over it out the yeah, front. Yeah, that would be really It would be really pretty. Awesome. And I think that's the thing, you've got to... What, do, mean, you, what do you think is the closest house? Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, um... I think there's one way down over there. Like you can't actually see it. Ah, oh, there's one at the end, but it's abandoned. We'll go for a little wander there in a minute. Come over here. Come on. Sold. The land's beautiful Sold. Here. I don't know how much it costs yet, but sold. <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> I do actually like the privacy. Yeah, so do I. Uh, I think it's a beautiful view up there, but if uh, Arpino decides to fall on me, I don't know what I'll do. Well, Arpino's been here since like forever. <laughs> Both rooms upstairs are exactly the same. It's like they did a carbon copy of one side of the house to the other. Yeah. And this is like, figs. if you like to eat figs, yeah, it's like figs. quite handy. We're, we're just out of the right season. There. If you'd have come two weeks ago, we would have been having a fig feast right now. Wait, they, like, they, they grow at this period? I know. They like, just finished the September. They finished in this period. Yeah, yeah. They just finished. We always pick them in see, August, September when we go to. There. Do you yeah. see those ones at the top? There's not many left now. Those are the but ones no one can full. get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this is no. a cute piece. Yeah, I actually do like this. But it needs uh, a new mirror. these open or yeah, just the for middle? sure. I'm sure they would, wouldn't they? They should. Oh, what a shame. I would have thought they would. Oh, it's not even that old. I can see from the back, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's not even that old. No. Did it have a date on it? I can see the backing of it. Oh, I'm kind okay. of used to looking at these things. Oh, uh, these ones are quite old, these two bedside these have units. have like a... Yeah. Yeah, that's a slate. Mm -hmm. But it, it often starts out as a property hunt and it turns into a furniture 
frenzy <laughs> where everybody's not looking at the property and instead they're walking around saying, oh, I like that bed. Oh, it's I like, love this wardrobe. And I'm like, bed. where? <laughs> we should look at the property and then like maybe that stuff. Oh, yes, but I love the couch. <laughs> Well, I don't, and I think I'm even guilty of that. I don't love the chairs. Yeah. You know, that's a certain period. There are people I like that... The, I like that, though. <laughs> yeah, the chest. You got me in the mood to talk about <laughs> furniture. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool yeah. chest. But there is a... You know, there are a whole lot of people that go for this 1960s. Like, that's a whole thing. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's this part of the house. And on the other side, we just have the same. And then we have a bathroom here. Oh and I don't even, I've got the keys to the bathroom on the other side, I can okay. show you. And then we'll just walk around the back. Yeah, I think this could be a really cool room, like when it's done up. Mm, this would be my bedroom. Yeah. Uh, the reason I was asking how close people are because the property goes to like the edge here or? It actually goes down a little bit further. Really? You and then it goes all the way back. This has got like a few hectares. Wow. I know this looks really bad. No, but it's okay. Did you see that this is not actually the roof structure? They've just left this old roof structure. To protect the concrete. But it's actually been built here, so it's flat roof. Mm. I was thinking that might become a terrace for that big room at the back. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, I reckon that would work out really well. So this is the old structure, and I'll take you in. Ooh. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. Okay. We lost you Kylie doing this video. Now I do, I mean, just from experience, I know that this beam is not really appropriate. Well, it needs another post beam. Post is leaning over. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. It. What they would have to do is put in the iron ones. Um, it's not such a huge job actually. And then there's another little room in there. No, it's a lot of space, honestly. Yeah, yeah. A lot of old wine equipment. These bottles where we're making wine, yeah. right? Yeah, yep. And I love these old ladders, look at these. Yeah, they're really quite charming. It would be a project cleaning this place up. The first job would be to just get all the junk out, right? And just see what you've got, like in any house, really. It looks like they had water set up here at one point. Well, the old man that owns this told me he remembers when his father got water to this house. And it was such a big deal. Just be careful as you walk down, there's, there's kind of rocks and bits of things. Is this part of like the septic system? It's a system for water. Mm -hmm. It is. The ones we usually talk about recently, and I've been exploring Puglia, those yeah. ones are always like, they were, they were built under the ground. Yeah. They, uh, and hidden very well under, uh, like, underneath the patio. The, the cistern. Ah, the cistern, yeah. So they had it they tucked underneath like yeah, a balcony. Yeah, that's a brilliant or, idea. Or not a balcony, a patio, terrazzo. Yeah. And that's the way it should be, really. Yeah. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's been a while. This house really needs some love. Yeah. But the stairs, stairs are solid. Yeah, they're nice The rail's and big solid. Too. Yeah. They have done this front part up rather well. It's just, um, like, there's just more to be done. I'm enjoying the sound. I feel like I'm camping. Yeah, it's really nice. You guys, let me know in the comments if you like this uh, house and uh, what you thought of it. What, we, what would you do to change it? Uh, how would you make it your own? I have a few of ideas of my very own and uh, thinking um, maybe it's time to move from Lodi to Arpino. <laughs> what do you think? That'd be lovely. Does it make you more nervous when someone's, so many people are watching? Yeah, hi. <laughs> Here we go, I found it. <laughs> okay. And so this is the other bedroom that matches with the other one. And you can see, do you see in that, that's where the problem with the roof is. Not on this side, but on the other side. Like this part of the roof is really good because I had a builder get up. It's the bit, the next room, over the next room. Okay. The next two rooms on both sides that needs to be changed. Yeah, so, you can see there is a moisture. You know, if anyone wants to. The wall right there. If anyone really loves this house or likes the space, and I think the space is beautiful. I mean, I know the house has got challenges, but I think the challenge is joining it into one home again and making it function as that. Yeah. Easier to figure it out on paper than in person. And then you've just got the balcony again, just like we had for next door. And these shutters are kind of cute. <laughs> but the land is gorgeous. It's in a really tranquil spot. And I tell you the price of this house? Not yet. That's actually the step out here oh, okay. where the light shows. The asking price for this house is 50,000 euros, but the guy 
is really keen to sell it and well there are actually two brothers and the whole property is being sold as one unit though and um, I think that you could make you know a cheeky offer on this yeah. and there'd be every chance of success wow. mm -hmm. I do. Land. 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I'd be aiming at around 40. Yeah. Okay. 45, something like that. So 40, the 45, 50,000. And if anyone wants to know anything else about it or get some quotes to get the roof done, it's something that I can like give you an idea okay. about. We are going to walk through the woods. Yep. And see what we can see. There's a road here. She's saying there's probably a property that direction as well as one on the other side, but this would all potentially be part of the property, or is this the this edge? This is part of the property. Okay. Yeah. The property even goes up into the mountain a little bit. We're on a rock face here. You could do rock climbing in the evenings. <laughs> the, the old man that lives here told me that he used to climb that rock up to Apino really? when he was a boy. Wow, that sounds like, like an amazing story. When I show you how high that is, you'll be sort of like, oh. Now, <laughs> it goes all the way back. The land goes all the way back there. Wow. So. You know, when I'm driving down this, road in Italy and there's so much green foliage fol foliage yeah I always think how many people go hiking through it or like does anyone yeah. even appreciate all the nature yeah to, to just driving by all the time true but the people that live around here they love to go hiking or horse riding is a really big thing around here huge did this fall <laughs> from the this map? has been here for hundreds of years yeah this seems so, like it was like part of the yeah. when they were building the whole place it's pretty cool yeah it could have tumbled down here i mean sometimes there's these deserted places around and you can go to in the mountains could someone set up like a horse uh, yeah yeah it, an mean, arena yeah, yeah absolutely i built one on my farm but there's a lot of kind of horse riding around here it's like a really big thing actually it's beautiful here yeah, it is really beautiful. It's very romantic. You could bring your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, whoever you want, and experience this. I always think of the movie Robin Hood, or like shows it's like Robin like Hood. It's kind of like that, isn't it? It is. This is like where they would film Robin Hood. And it'd something. be great for kids. <laughs> or dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you've got dogs. We've been talking about dogs on this trip. Uh, there's amazing veterinarian surface, uh, yeah, great hotel Sandra. for when you're away. <laughs> yeah, that's true. An amazing space for them to roam free. On your own property, apparently. Yep. So we're coming down to the river. It's at the end of the property. I mean, probably in another couple of weeks when the leaves, you know, the trees are starting to lose the leaves now. We'll get to see everything a lot better. Did you expect Listen to do to this. this today? No. <laughs> The house so here. The house is over there. The house is the Way white one. Way over there. Yeah. And this here is abandoned. I don't know what it is. It's something it's right that's on the, the railway river. line. Might have been a station master's house or something to do with the railway line. But at the back here is this fantastic walk. And yeah, there's a bridge there too. Yeah. There's a yeah. walk over. There's what? Yeah, there's like you can walk all around here, and there's caves. It's, I was telling you, waterfalls. Like it's really beautiful this spot. I can hear. So we've explored a little bit around just to show you how big the property is. Uh, now we didn't show the the lines. I don't know where the lines are. It's really hard to to understand that, but yep. you can check that out on the floor plan. There's a lot to to learn about the, doing the renovation, whether how to deal with the roof, how to connect the rooms. Yes. But uh, for let's say fifty thousand. Um, it's a really good starting point to have a really big property with so much space around it here in the middle of the nature, yeah. right at the base of our Pino. So I think it's, it's worth looking into, that's for sure. Well, if anybody's really interested, they can contact me for plans and for the land plans. And How do they contact you? Put a link in the description. Cool. That'll be great. A few things to consider, first of all, are that it's right next to the train tracks, one minute away from the train station. And if that bothers you, then move on to another property. 
And Kylie said there aren't that many trains, but I advise you to check out how often the train passes just to be sure that it's not going to bother you. Being at the bottom of the valley also limits the amount of sunlight that you'll have in the morning, but in the evening, you'll definitely have a beautiful sunset as seen in this video. Being so close to the river also gives you the potential to have some fog in the mornings or on generally humid days. Again, evaluate it yourself, and if you decide to purchase it, let me know. I'm curious. Let's let's stick with 50,000 euros, negotiable. Is it worth it? She's gonna get back to me with the size, exact size, but it is very large. I mean, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically seven finished rooms, I think. Uh, they all need to be kind of connected together, but there's so much balcony and then there's extra space back there a lot of extra space and then it's on a lot of acres of land uh, or hectares of land <laughs> arpino is beautiful it's right here it's not at the top you don't have that valley view but you have all this green you have all this greenery all around and it's amazing this tree especially is so iconic and uh, just need someone to come step in and start taking care of it it's all yours <laughs> Thanks everybody, that's it for this video. You can see that someone has a ladder already to pick the olives. I saw someone doing that earlier today. If you haven't subscribed already, do so now so that I know you love Italy or at least the exploration that we've been doing. And if you have any questions again, contact Kylie. And we'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>